Hello everyone, Naveka here. Welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Judgment. So in the last episode, we were in a bit of a honeypot. <laughs> that was a fun side quest. And I forgot the threat is at 100. That is new. That is a new concept. So I might go do something about it. I might not. It's completely optional. Do I have any new stuff here? Oh, we do. Oh, great. I hate when I accidentally start him. Well, there you go. Oh, no. No. Okay. This one we might by accident. Oh, not. Okay. Woohoo! Uh, I think I need... I do need a little bit of food. Ooh, it's chow time. Just in case we get in a fight. Okay, let's go. Ha! The threat's going down already. Wow. What do I want to do? Uh, we never went to this person. I, f I really think I should. Then maybe we'll go to Kasai. We need to make that friend. Oh, what? Fine. Ow! <gasps> okay, fine. Give me that, uh... Ow, are you kidding me? Screw off, bitches. Oh, you don't like it? You don't like it? Ow. Okay, I don't like that. Ah, come on! Where's Ryan Acosta? <laughs> hey! Oh, there he is. Oh, bitch! Screw off! Damn. You're next. Ryan! Nice try, jerk. Come here, you. I like how Ryan was just staring. He was trying to give the stare of death. Yeah, I, thanks for nothing, my man. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's see, we're gonna go here and here. What? I'm gonna help this man out. Finally. Don't you get smart with me! How about showing us some respect, huh? Respect for swindling me out of my money? I'll respect you when you pay back what you owe. Wouldn't that be more fair? Huh? Psh! You think the Kayin gang's just gonna bend over backwards and pay you out the ass, huh? huh. Again with these Kayin gang lunatics. They just cause problems wherever they go, don't they? Of course we're gonna step in. Can't just let this go. Time for me to step in. Hey! Oh! You're... What are you doing here? Hey. You not only refused to pay your debt, but you'd even assault your lender? Didn't know you punks could stoop so low. Oh, are you feeling sorry for the guy? Then why don't I just punish you in his place? Bring it. Not a wise choice. <laughs> Yoink. Come on, bitch. That's what I thought. Didn't even need Ryan that time. Are you alright? Thanks to you, yeah. I take it you're familiar with those punks? Mm -hmm. You could say that. For one reason or another, they seem to have a grudge against me. Damn. That doesn't sound very pleasant. <laughs> See, I knew you could pay up. I'll be taking back my money now. <sighs> Hope you choke on it, you bastard. <laughs> 
Now that that's settled, looks like we haven't introduced ourselves, have we? This is Yagami. I guess not. I'm Takayuki Yagami, and I work for a detective. And, I'm, and I work as a detective here in Kamurocho. A detective, you say? Interesting. I'm Kazufumi Kamaguchi, and I run Turtle Financing on the third floor of this building. <laughs> in other words, I'm a debt collector. Yay! Hello, friend. And you were trying to collect from the Keihin gang of all people? Oh. Yeah, should have known they never plan on paying me back. This isn't the first time they attacked me either. <sighs> Low-life bastards. They think they can do whatever the hell they want. When it comes to being nuisance, they're right up there with the Yakuza. Mm. Should let you know though, those goons weren't the only ones I lent money to. I actually ended up financing a couple of their leaders too. Leaders, such as... Kenta Kasai and Renji Honda. They owe me 800,000 yen each. Well, we're about to go kick Kasai's ass and we already whooped Honda. Ah. Wait, you lent money to them? Man, you really need to be more careful who you trust. Yagami -san. Yeah, no kidding. Say, Yagami-san, you're good at tracking people down, yes? Being that you're a detective and all. Yep. Well, that is one part of the job. And from what I've seen, you can handle yourself in a scuffle to boot. Could you track down those two imbeciles for me and get my money back? Huh? You really want me to do it? Yeah, I'll pay you for it, of course. Hmm. I'm always running into them one way or another. All right, I think I can accept your case. Great, you'd be doing me quite a favor. This is the Keihin gang we're talking about. Even when I ignore them, they butt into my life. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to drag them over to come uh, Gucci-san whenever I see their ugly mugs. Oh, would you look at the time. I better be getting back to the office. See ya. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go kick one's ass right now. No worries. Wait. I, at least I hope we do. I'm gonna try my best to. Yagami! There you are, Yagami! Today's the day I smear you into the pavement once and for all. Get ready to eat some street, fuck face! Okay, Kasai. Let's dance. Come on, boy. Bitch, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Oh crap. <laughs> uh oh. Come here. I got something for you. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Yeah, I got me, please. There you go. Are you kidding me? the hell? He regained his life again? I just noticed that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh crap. <laughs> He's getting crazy tough. Oh, we haven't bought a lot of stuff, have we? Oh, I'm in trouble. Come on. Come on now. Am I gonna get up or nah? Why is he stuck over there? There you go. Come on. Yes! Whew. All right, we're here. Huh? Don't push me, you shithead. Mm. 
Well, if it isn't Kasai himself, you actually caught the guy. Yep. Yagami! Mind explaining what the hell we're doing here, Yagami? Not at all. You old turtle financing 800 grand, remember? This gentleman here got so tired of waiting, he asked me to collect for him. Even turtles can't wait forever. Huh? What? So you're saying you're his lapdog now? How pathetic. Kasai, we already know you have the money. I'm surprised you haven't blown it at every high and soap land in town by now. You think you got me figured out, huh? Well, what if I just said fuck it to paying the money back? Hey. So that's how it's gonna be? Then I guess we'll need to pay a very special visit to a very special place. Huh? Wait, where do you think you're taking me? The courtroom, of course. Oh wait, you didn't know I was a certified lawyer? Here, check out this badge. Hot shit, right? Huh? You're actually a goddamn lawyer? Jeez, what don't you do? Apparently a lot less than you. The evasion's probably just the tip of the iceberg for a leader of the Keihin gang. What? Huh? You heard me. With a record like yours, you'll be out of the courtroom and behind bars so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ah. No! Wait! Don't do this to me! All I need to do is pay, right? Yagami-san! Wow, Yagami-san! You practically had him begging for mercy there! That alone is almost worth paying for! Oh, yeah. Ah. They've been getting on my nerves as it is. You didn't need to give me anything. Well, I just wanted to show you my appreciation, so take it anyway. In that case, I'll take you up on your offer. Now then, the only one left is Honda, and I hear he's pretty tough to take down. Watch yourself. He was pretty tough. Hmm? Good work, Yagami-san! Way to send those Keihin thugs packing! Everyone in town is practically cheering your name at this point. So, we decided to leave you a little token of our gratitude. Check the delivery box in front of your office. It should be in there. Ooh! Ooh, that settles it for now, I think. Yagami-san! That's so cool! We get a, a, what's it called? A treat in the mail. Okay, um, where am I going? This way. I need to buy some stuff before I try to take on um, Honda, that's for sure. Renji. Renji-san. Keep going now. Whoa, didn't mean to do that, but alright. No, I want to right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. I want this item over here. Yay. Okay, let's go buy some stuff. Let's go to a place where um, I need to make points. How about that? I think all the all of these I've already finished. Oh no, look here. We need to finish that one. And that's it. Oh man, but it is far. It is quite far. I might even run to... And run into a leader. But nah, man. I'm just gonna ignore him. No. Oh, nah. La -dee -da. We are gonna buy some items. Ignore all the haters that want to kill me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't ran into anyone yet. I, I don't know why I don't use a cab. I always forget. Ah, here we go. We're f I think we're finally going to finish. Him. He's the last one here. Okay, let's get a lot of stuff. 
we for sure need three of these. And what else? I guess a little bit of everything. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yes. Yay! There it is. Yay! Woohoo! We did it! Now all of the convenience store's friendships are finished! Now I could go there... Or I could look for Renji. Although I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. What is this again? We could do some mean story. How about that? How about it? Especially since I don't know. I don't know where Renji is. I'd really like to fight him to get it over with, but maybe that's not till later. Ooh, I need to buy some uh, a med kit. That's from the doctor. I should heal too. No, let me go over here. Apparently it's a possible new friendship as well. Hi! Oh, it's the bartender? Really? Oh, it's you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Hmm? Hey, what's going on? You look pretty wiped out. Oh. My apologies. It's just that lately we've had our fair share of tiresome customers, you could say. Bantam owner, how can I help you? Tiresome customers? Ah, I apologize. I'm sure you don't want to hear me griping. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing you out. Very well, then. I was about to say that I've been dealing with people who don't have the slightest idea how to order. Tell me, what do you think is the most troublesome kind of customer for a bartender? Huh, now there's a question. Customers who don't order alcohol, customers who ask the impossible, customers who order cheap drinks, customers who leave it up to you? Um, I guess who ask the impossible? Who don't order alcohol? Or that, who don't order alcohol? I say it's one of these two. I, I'm gonna try this one. Hmm. Customers who don't order alcohol? Oh no, they are in fact some people who don't care much for alcohol. Our job is to make it enjoyable even for customers like that, so that's not really an issue. Hmm. I see, so what would you say is the real problem? A lot of customers think they're being savvy by ordering whatever I recommend, but in truth it throws me off. Although I'm confident in each and every item on our menu, I have no idea how to tell what the customer really wants. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not a mind reader, I simply don't know what to make for them. I can see how that might end up giving you a headache. For instance, what if the customer refuses to drink it? That, or it might not suit their taste. That's why I'd appreciate a little more information on orders like those. I see. I guess it's better to put a little more effort into getting to know the bartender, huh? Indeed. It's different for regular customers since I already know their preferences. Ah. Then I better stop by more often so you know what to get for me. <laughs> Please do. Would you like me to get some would you like me to get something started? Ooh, halfway there. Sure, I'll buy something just for you. Cheapest in the house. Thank you. Back to it. Arigatou Thank you. Okay, we are going to say. Shintani. Excuse me. Hey. 
Excuse me. Oh, is Shintani Sensei not here? Beats me. What do you need him for? Just wanted to ask him about something. I'll try back later. Hold on a sec. Hmm? Yagami. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani comes back? Are you bored? Well, I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> Good. And I've got the perfect job for you. Oh, goodness. I have a client who needs a bodyguard, and I want you to fill the post, Yagami. Hmm? A bodyguard? What kind of clients are you talking? Are you taking these days? Oh, it's just a messy custody battle that's going to court. Repre I'm representing the mother. Her name is Azusa Otaki, and her daughter is Karin. They're set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I'd like you to protect them until they get there. Who do they, who do they need protection from? <sighs> Apparently, the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she got into a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So you're giving her a bodyguard just because he's ex-Yakuza? Isn't that kind of an overreaction? This poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Otaki. It might not even come to it, but can you protect them from him if it does? Yep. Alright, seems pretty clear. Who knows when Shintani Sensei will be back anyway, so I guess I'll help. Thank you. Sorry, I'll pay you. Hey. By the way, ever heard of Shune Oikawa, the lawyer? Hmm? Oikawa? No, don't think I have. He's representing the father, but he's formerly one of mine. Huh? We, he worked here? Yeah. He was gone before you started. One of those elite types who passed the bar real early in life. But he wanted to win his cases by any means nef necessary, even bribery or blackmail. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good, had some real potential. That's why I came down hard on him about changing his ways, but he didn't give a damn. In the end, I had no choice. I fired him. I thought maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear, the man only lives to beat me now. Hmm. Out of revenge for firing him or something? Yeah. But living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. Ooh. Anyway, do you know where this mother and her daughter are now? They were here not long ago, actually. She said she had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. For being her legal counsel, she doesn't seem to want to take any of my advice. Hmm. Sounds like a lovely family. <laughs> any idea where they might have gone? She said something about getting some clothes to make themselves presentable in court. So somewhere with clothes, huh? Alright, I'll go find her. And all these random side cases that start. You got anything for me? Dude, yes. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, what do we got? Who was this again? I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know how to make him talk to me more. I'm guessing I need to get good at <laughs> batting. Let's go to this guy. See if he needs any help. Can't do a side case right now. Side cases take a long time. That's one side case alone could be a whole video. Especially ones that are for the main story like that one. Let's see if this guy needs help. Puriya-san, did you find a good place to collaborate with? I'm afraid not. It's difficult when it comes to finding good fast food. Oh, right. Right. I haven't done that yet. <gasps> Actually, I need to go to Moroboshi-san. 
Yes, the children's park. I need to do a healing. Why are you guys all scared? What the hell? Am I doing? Yes. Does everybody look all scared? Never seen a running man before. Hey guys, there we go. See, maybe it's cheaper now. Now that he's my friend. Yes, I do. How much? Twenty thousand. How much are your kits? Forty thousand. Good gracious. Just heal me. Gosh darn it. Jerk. Whatever, dude. Crazy expensive. I'll take it as like I'm donating to the doctor of these lovely folks. Need help around here. Inose. I haven't seen Inose in a long time. I don't even remember what he was what his friendship was for. Let's find out. What is this place? Can I talk to them about what this guy wants? Hi! Ooh. Sure, our older one. Oh, can't. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Hey, man. Oh, Yagami-san, it's you! How's business these days, Inosei-san? Not bad, but it could be better. I'm having trouble thinking of new ideas for our upcoming special. Mm. It pains me to admit it, but there's not a lot you can do with a chicken patty. Wet the chicken, on the other hand. Ah, oh, that's right. Wet the chicken gives you pretty stiff competition, don't they? Yes, particularly the one on West Tai High Boulevard. They've been our main competitor for many years. Hmm. Excuse me. In that case, I know something that might interest you. The marketing supervisor from Wetes Kitchen has actually been looking to do a collaboration. Yeah. You mean he wants to cooperate with another fast food chain? The absolute madman! Yep. Well, he was organizing a new promotional campaign and his idea got selected, so maybe he's not so mad after all. However, he went all in, all in on the promotion thinking he could find a partner on the fly. And if you're having trouble coming up with ideas, then this might be a good fit for you. Maybe you two will end up making something big. Hmm? You know, Seisan? You know, I could see this working, yes! What a novel idea! What the kitchen really knows their stuff! Well, I was the one who thought of it. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be a winner. I'll go ask permission from corporate and contact Wet the Kitchen right away. And be sure to ask for Furia. He's the guy in charge over there. Furia, got it. Thanks so much. Woo! I can't believe I did it. So do I go talk to Furia again? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, hey. Oh, it's right here. 
Oh, okay. I guess not yet. Maybe I need to let some time pass by. Or maybe I gotta ask more people. I don't know. Oops, sorry. Anyways, this is a good place to stop this episode, guys. And the next one, we'll maybe finish up that side quest that Genda Sensei gave us. And help that lady and her daughter be safe from that man, which you know we're going to end up fighting. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into the series. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny.